All right, so I already did my Crown Jewel pay-per-view review. Go check that out if you haven't. That was me being nice. And quite honestly, this was one of the worst goddamn pay-per-views I have ever seen in my life. This, I'd rather sit down and watch this again. If you put a Crown Jewel DVD in front of me and this, I would watch this any day. I'd rather watch WrestleMania 11, WrestleMania 9, King of the Ring 94, Backlash 2018. Like, the more I think about it, the more I regret giving this show a D. Maybe I should have just given it an F, honestly. Like, it had a li that little bit of good wrestling on there, just that much, so I can't give it an F, but... I really wanted to. Like, honestly, I think this was worse than December to December. I really do. A lot of people may not agree with me on that one. But this was three hours of worthless ECW wrestling. But Crown Jewel was just, a, just perplexing all of this. You have Brock Lesnar... Squashing Braun Strowman in 2 minutes and 35 seconds with 5 F5s. And then you have the prestigious World Cup. Won by someone that wasn't even in the tournament. One who, it was won by somebody who wasn't even on the main roster. Best in the world. You know, I don't know if Vince Russo is back because this honestly feels like a WCW pay-per-view in 2000. That is the best way to describe this f fucking mess. Like this was just the full the first half of the pay-per-view was just the most average house show. And then you have the Brock Lesnar match where it just derails and then lays in a shitty mess on the floor. Where all the little Saudi Arabian kids can go play in the shitty mess. That's what this was. This was the worst pay-per-view I've ever watched live. You know, back in the day, I didn't spend $50 for pay-per-views. So I did not watch this live. I didn't watch, you know, obviously the early WrestleManias live. Like 2 and 9, 11, you know. I don't know. This was just... It's unbelievable. I, I mean, I hope everyone can see this. Because I did hear of somebody who thought this was a great show. I did. And just the... This was the worst booking I've ever seen. I, I just don't understand what WWE sees in Brock Lesnar. I understand they want him to go to UFC. And, you know, represent the WWE. But there's no way... That they're paying him like millions of dollars. And they're actually getting that investment back. Nobody likes Brock Lesnar. Nobody wants to see him as the Universal Champion. Nobody wants to buy a shitty t-shirt. So I don't understand where you think you're, these millions of dollars are going. Like, this is not a smart move business-wise. Why would you think that Brock Lesnar is a good investment to be your universal champion again? Like, we just had him for a year and a fucking half. You really need him more? Like, yeah, you need to build your top star now. Because Roman's gone. Brock Lesnar is not your top star. That was very obvious. He can't draw that much. There's no way he draws. As much as Hogan did, or Stone Cold did, The Rock, even Cena. Like, there's no way that you can see this as your top star. And I, nece I don't necessarily think Braun Strowman's your top star, but it's better than this. And I just don't, like, this is just, I can't even fathom how bad this was. Like, I did my review... And the more I thought about it, the more pissed off I actually got at this. Like, this was pathetic, how bad this pay-per-view was. And then, the tournament. You have The Miz and Ziggler, 
two heels going against each other, which makes no sense. And, I mean, no offense to them, but best in the world? Come on. I love The Miz. He's one of my favorite stars right now. And Ziggler's great. But you have two heels who have been stuck in mid-card for years now. Like, now you're putting him in the best of the world tournament? And that could have been a great match. Look at their No Mercy match. Fantastic. These are two great workers. And instead you have The Miz. I'm assuming this was a work because he was in character with this injury. He leaps, like, what, four feet, if that, off the ring apron, hurts his leg, and then Shane McMahon comes in. I love Shane, but for the crowd to be chanting, this is awesome, well, they chanted that the whole pay-per-view. This whole pay-per-view was awesome to them. These people are fucking delusional. To think that Shane McMahon wins the World, World Cup, which was... What's all American and then Rey Mysterio? So yeah, World Cup. But this prestigious title with the big ass trophy, and you have Shane McMahon win the fucking thing. He's not even on the main roster. He just came back. I'm assuming this is going to turn turn him heel. I, I don't know. This is Vince Russo. Like he did this. Like, there, there's... Oh, might as well just put the trophy on a pole, why don't you? It honestly feels like when David Arquette won the WCW title. I mean, obviously it's not that bad. But that's kind of what it resembles if you really think about it. So, I mean... Oh, this makes December to Dismember look like a gem. I'd seriously rather watch this. Or King of the Ring 94. That's saying something. But let me know your opinions down below. This was an absolute mess. Like this deserved to have an F. I really wanted to give it an F. But you had a few good decent matches. So I can't really say it's a complete failure. Oh and then you have Hulk Hogan. I think I forgot to mention this in my review. You had Hulk Hogan come out as your host. He gives his little speech, his Arabian maniacs or whatever, Hulk Arabians, whatever he said. He gives like a three-minute speech, does this little pose. He's the host, but he's never seen again. That's your host. The point of being a host, like for example, you have Jerry Springer. He's the host of his show. He's always on screen. You have... The Rock, hosting WrestleMania 27. He had two in-ring segments, a backstage segment. He had two backstage segments. And then Hulk Hogan comes out for three minutes, never seen again on a four-hour pay-per-view. Technically five hours. That's not a host. Why was he there? How much did he get paid for this? To fly to Saudi Arabia to be the host for three minutes. And don't even get me started on the pyro and the stage. I covered all that in my review. I think it's complete horse shit that we can't get all that, but they can. Oh, God. All right, well, that's going to be it for my rant. Let me know down below what your rants would be. And if you actually enjoyed this, let me know. Like, I actually want someone to argue that they enjoyed this pile of dog shit. Thank you for watching. I'm probably demonetized. Peace out.